Hello everyone, this is Dr. Lex. Today I have something slightly different. It's this modern replica of an antique Chinese combination lock. I ordered this from an eBayer in China for about 3 British pounds. Of course it took an eternity to arrive from China because the Chinese ships this in the cheapest possible way by ship, I presume. But anyway, the reason why I bought this is I wanted to see how easy it is to decode this kind of thing. And it's actually based on real antique locks from the 18th or maybe 17th century even, from China, as you can see here. But anyway, let's see how easy it is to decode this. The traditional way, or the classic way to decode a combination lock is to tension it and then turn the wheels and find the most binding wheel first. If we do that with this kind of lock, we can feel that it's the rightmost wheel that binds the most. And if we turn it a little, a little it seems then that it's now in the in a gate. So we move on to the next wheel and this seems to go well at first sight but in the end it's very unclear where the gate should be and by the time you get to the third wheel you just don't really feel anything and you can keep turning everything you just don't find the combination so i've tried some other things and i found that it's actually you have to do it the other way around you have to find the least binding wheel which happens to be the leftmost one and as you can see there's a quite wide gap here at the left and the strategy is to make sure that all the wheels drop down if you keep it like this that they go to the left and then they prove to be in the right position so if we do if we do that with this lock i turn the leftmost wheel and at a certain point it drops down and then we move on to the next wheel there we go it dropped down and i think the third one is already in the good position so and the fourth one so no we should only need to turn the last wheel. There we go, it's open. So once you know this trick, it's very easy to open it. The construction reminds me of some very cheap bike locks from the past, which used a similar design with these caps and also wheels like this. And the reason why the classic strategy fails is probably because of this irregular spacing of these gaps combined with just the way how it's constructed with this kind of crimping at the end and general coarseness of the wheels. Now the normal way to open this is you look at the combination that was given on a piece of paper and in this case it proves to be G Pi Suede uh, Chun which means as much as luck, 100 years of age, child, spring so it doesn't really, really mean anything and then you find those characters at the top of the lock with the bar kind of blocking your view so that makes it slightly impractical but anyway let's do it for this lock so G then by Sway and, uh, and Chun and then it indeed opens all in all, it's a nice gadget, but I wouldn't rely on it for securing anything. So, that's all. See you next time.